All right, welcome to the video. We have a new challenge for this week. For this week, we ate only chicken and broccoli. Chicken, broccoli. So you might be wondering why I'm doing this. Chicken. Basically, I wanted to experiment a little bit and see what happens to our bodies if we eat only broccoli and chicken for an entire week. Aren't you just a tad bit interested? All right, now let me break down the rules that I had for this challenge. Now, rule number one, we can only have chicken, broccoli, and olive oil. All calories must come from these three ingredients. Now, I added healthy fats just to see if that made any difference. For each meal, I had approximately three tenderloins, five ounces of broccoli, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. I had a total of three meals each day, and that itself came down to about 1,500 to 1,600 calories per day. And I'll show you the macros right here, 114 grams of fat, about 28 to 30 grams of carbs, and about 124 grams of protein. My meals were actually kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little lazy in terms of changing the variety and changing the way I was cooking my food. I prepared my food the exact same way every single day just because it saved me time. I didn't have to think about what I was gonna cook. I didn't have to come up with some sort of recipe or anything like that. I just made the exact same thing for each meal every single day. And this was the easiest way because every morning all I did was take out nine pieces of tenderloin, thawed them out, cooked them all at the same time, and then cooked the broccoli, put them in their plates together, and bon appetit or torture whatever you want to call it. But it saved me time, and that's why I decided to go that route. Now, rule two. As always, I allowed myself certain supplements during the challenge. For me, the supplements included black coffee, straight, nothing added, creatine, glutamine, and electrolytes. And I'll show you how I prepared them right here, right now. If you're interested in these electrolytes or the creatine and glutamine supplements, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link for you at the bottom. I'm actually sponsored by this FNX brand. So if you use my code, you'll get a nice little discount. Now, rule number three, working out. As always, we wanna to continue to use our muscles, not just performance-wise, but body composition-wise. And because my calories were so low each day I decided to go with light resistance training and light cardio every single day and that was about 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of weights all right now before we go over the experiences pros and cons of this challenge I do just want to clarify that this was a five-day challenge and not a full week it was Monday through Friday most of the times I have something to do over the weekend, which makes it a little harder to complete a full seven day challenge. So for me, there were three different pros that I could come up with. Pro number one, you don't have to think about what you're gonna eat. You don't have to spend time preparing. You already know what you're gonna eat. You can prep it once a day or prep it for the entire week, but you don't have to spend too much time in that area. Pro number two is you have precise calculations of exactly what you're gonna have throughout the entire day, no matter what. No hidden calories, nothing. Pro number three is you will get positive results from this, but because of its limitations, it's not something that you can really sustain for a long period of time, nor would I advise doing that for a long period of time. Now, the cons. Con number one, do you want to know what the worst thing about this diet is? Full disclaimer, there will be diarrhea. 
Con number two, your energy output during workouts is lower than it normally is and your pump just doesn't feel as good. Con number three, this diet gets annoying very quick. Day one, you're done with it and you get strong cravings for sweets. Not a lot of fun. All right, are you ready for the results? All right, now before I show you the results, I do have to be honest about one thing with you guys. There was a small discrepancy with this challenge during the fourth day. I stayed over at my sister's house that day, so I did have to alter the diet just a little bit. This is the meal I ended up having. I also had a few glasses of alcohol, just plain liquor, but this may have altered the result, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now for the body composition, I'll go ahead and show you right now. There's definitely a noticeable difference within the five days. Now in terms of weight, I went from 153.9 to 147.0, so about six pounds, five days. Nice, right? Now in terms of body fat, I went from 12.2 to 11. 11.7. Again, these are awesome results. This is pretty much what I expected from a diet like this. I think the best part about these results is that it was only five days. Imagine doing this for an entire 30 days. I won't lie to you though, I would not be able to do it just because I, my cravings would be too strong. Plus I have too many family engagements. Really, really hard not to eat something other than just chicken and broccoli during these family events. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful in some way. The goal of this challenge was to help motivate other people or help people in general who are having difficulty losing weight. I served as a little guinea pig for you guys, but it was interesting to see what would happen if I ate only chicken and broccoli for one week. I do have a lot of other ones that I wanna try. I do wanna try a carnivore altered diet next. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Again, all my links will be at the bottom of this, specifically the electrolytes I used and the FNX products that I used. If you enjoyed this video or the content, please give it a like. If you have any suggestions for future diets that you want me to try and be your guinea pig, go ahead and put those at the bottom. I'd love to try them and test them out for you. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.